beavers are very important to me. You wouldn't think we'd even have a beaver out here on the tall grass prairie, but we got a lot of beavers out here. And how important they are and how I'm struggling to keep them here, how I'm, I'm struggling to coexist with them because they're kind of a, they're kind of challenging me a little bit. They're not a nuisance, they're just challenging me. And uh, I'm not getting along real well with them, but I'm trying to learn how to get along with them. And so, um, and we'll get, a, we'll get a, a chance here a little bit later to go look at a deal I built in a pond, and I call it a beaver trapezoid. So I had a beaver show up down here on, a, on just on a draw. And I thought, boy, and I, and I happened to sneak up, I happened to be riding by on a horse, and there he was in this water, and that water's about this deep, and that beaver is about this deep, you know. He couldn't hide. And I seen him, I thought, boy, that's the coolest thing. I got to watching him. And he went down there, he had a little dam, he had a little hut deal and everything. I thought, boy, that is like the neatest thing. And everything's going really good, you know, and boy, I'm really in favor of the beaver and, and uh, Aldo Leopold and the whole thing, you know, here we're holistic guys, this whole deal. And I ride on around and a, oh, a month or two goes by and I'm riding around. And I ride by this big pond I got over here and the, in this country, it rains so much that we have emergency spillways on these ponds to handle horrendous rain events. But the majority of our rain goes through these primary spill pipes that we put in them. And they let the water down and they can handle the, the average rainfall around here. They can handle it. It's when you have a real rain event that goes out the emergency spillway. Anyway, I ride by and here's this giant scour hole on this emergency spillway that has washed out that you could park a D8 dozer in. It's that big, it's huge. And I ride on up on top of the dam and lo and behold, this pond is clear full of water. And the water's had a big rain event and it went out through the emergency spillway, been going out the emergency spillway, busting through. And this beaver had moved in there and had dammed up this primary spill pipe and forced this water and he thought he could handle the the emergency spillway, but he didn't have enough vegetation to work with, and, it, and it, we had a big rain, and it got out, and it went down and scared out this big hole. So my very first thought, the very first thing I wanted to do was kill the beaver. He's out there in that water, I could see him, and then my very first thought was, I want to kill this beaver. Let's go home and get a gun and shoot him. And I thought, boy, now, I won the Aldo, I won the, the Leopold Conservation Award for Kansas. I was given that award in 2015, the first year it came out. And I'm thinking, and this is 2016, I'm thinking, now here is the Leopold Conservation Award winner, and the very first thought that comes to his mind is to kill this beaver. I said, ah, that ain't right. I don't want to do that. But this scour hole is probably going to cost me $2,000 to fix that this beaver done. So I come home, and my son's here, right, my youngest son. And I said, Raymond, I said, we got a problem over there. I said, it's got this big old giant hole washed out in the spillway, and the tube's plugged up, and there's a beaver in there. And he says, I'll go get my AR-15. So I got it out of here. I said, oh, 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 wait a minute. I said, don't get that. I said, now, the first thought that comes to your mind is to get an AR-15 and kill this beaver. I said, that's not how we're supposed to think. We're supposed to think, how do we make this thing work? And so we got the pond let down, and it was quite a process and everything. And so I visited with my good friend, Charlie Lee, the Kansas Wildlife and Parks uh, Wildlife Extension Agent for the state of Kansas. And Charlie come up with this idea of building these beaver trapezoids. And where you build these trapezoids out of cattle panels around this primary spill pipe, and the beaver just cannot plug up that pipe. He can do a lot of things, but he can't plug that pipe up. So that you can coexist with the beaver. I've got several ponds I got beavers in that I've built these trapezoids and they're working. And I've got, he's moved down here on a creek and we've got this, he's got these beaver dams, and we're backing all this water up in this riparian area, and 
And the one thing that I think is real important to me is I had a crossing where I, I was going down and crossing this draw and coming up the other side. And of course it was handy for me to go with a four wheeler or a side by side or a tractor or whatever. And so the cattle went that way and they also followed my tracks right up the hill and I started this erosion coming down these tracks and all this erosion. And so I would go gather up rocks and I'd put rocks in these erosion spots coming down these trails. And lo and behold, I couldn't drive over, so I'd move over a little bit and the cattle would move over and the cattle kept coming down. Erosion and Last year, the beaver moves in there and he builds a dam on the bottom side of this crossing. So he puts this crossing under about four and a half foot of water. And I'm going down there and I've got a loader tractor and I see that and I'm wanting to get across. I think, God dang, this crazy beaver. And so I knocked that dam out, let the water down, drive across. And lo and behold, he builds it right back the next night or whatever and fills that all up. And I go on about my business and about four months later, I come by and this thing is four and a half, five foot deep. I can't go across there, but cows can't go across there either. And those trailing up that side of that hill are starting to, those trailings are all starting to fill in where I put those rocks. That dirt's starting to move in there and grass is starting to grow in those trails. That beaver, by building that pond where he built it, stopped the erosion on the side of that hill from cows. That's the effect that that beaver had. I didn't understand. The first time I drove down there, I knocked the dam out. That's the worst thing I could have done. I didn't understand. I'm wanting to get across here, but he was what he was doing had a reaction over here and stopped that. That's what's so important. That's what was, was never taught to me. I was taught how to rope a cow and drag her through a gate. I was never taught about that. That's what's important. Thank you.